Have you lost your job? Have you lost a loved one? Are you exhausted caring for your parents, for your kids? Well, you can find immediate relief when you read Sheila Mack's new number one bestseller, Bootstraps and Bra Straps. It contains the boots formula to move from rock bottom back into action in any situation, especially right now. If life has knocked you down, pick yourself up with bootstraps and bra straps. Get your copy at www.sheilamack.com today. Are you ready for a reboot? Welcome to the Sheila Mack Show, reality at its finest. History reminds us those hit hardest often become the change makers. This year, we've all hit crazy economic, social, and emotional rock bottoms. We all get knocked down. Something hits globally, locally, personally. It affects our health, finances, our relationships. We have to recreate a business or career. Each show, Sheila and her special guest will be sharing their reboot stories, guiding you with real solutions to upgrade and up-level emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, and financially. Welcome to the Sheila Mack Show, reality at its finest. Here we have real people sharing real stories and actionable steps to help you reinvent, rebuild, and reboot your business and personal life on your terms. I'm your host, Sheila Mack, and today we have special guest, Linda Mitchell. We are right in time for Valentine's and getting back on track with our wellness. So I have special guest, Linda Mitchell, CEO of Sisterhood of Sweat, and here is a little bit more about Linda. Take a listen. Great. Uh, I love having you in the kitchen this morning. So uh, what's the biggest uh, thing that we can do to make our pies a little more healthy? Um, is it substitution or? Yes, one of the biggest things you can do is to take the, the sweetener and get the sugar out. And what we're going to use today is coconut sugar, okay. which is really low on the glycemic index. Equally, if you want to make this into a chocolate pie, you would just take this cream filling, eliminate the pumpkin, put a half a cup of cocoa. The mission I have is I want each and every woman to feel 100% great about herself when she looks in the mirror. Women don't like to bulk up necessarily. They'd like to be lean. That's the kind of body we work to achieve. Uh, is this easy, easy to do? Oh my gosh, yeah. Throw it together in five minutes. And you can make these and, and they'll stay for a few days, right? Oh yes, totally. Okay. And it's all clean ingredients, fresh from the supermarket. A lot of the protein bars you get in the supermarket are really just like eating a candy bar. Okay. These, you could have as a complete meal. You could have four squares as a complete meal for your first two meals. Oh, wow. It's got everything you need in it, your carb, your protein, and your good fat. I am in the house today, if you're just joining us, with Dr. Fred Pescatore. Dr. Fred is one of the most sought after natural physicians in the country. Today, I have the grand dame of fitness, and she was married to the godfather of fitness. It was a fitness match made in heaven. That's and I, <laughs> I feel so honored, you guys, to be speaking with the great Elaine LaLanne, the founder and CEO of the Radical Success Institute and the vice president of operations for the Act Like a Success Steve Harvey Company, Doreen Rainey. Dr. Isaiah Hankel has written the book, The Black Hole Focus. He is the founder and CEO of The Cheeky Scientist, a career training company that specializes in helping PhDs transition into corporate careers. Patrice Washington is a nationally recognized best-selling author, featured columnist, television commentator, transformational speaker, spokesperson, radio host, and leading authority on personal finance. Laura Shemek is a PhD. She is a leading fat cell researcher, health expert, weight loss expert, keynote speaker, and recognized authority on inflammation and its role in weight loss.
Linda is a leading women's health expert, award-winning fitness competitor, best-selling author, top 50 podcast host, fitness boutique owner, and creator of the Sisterhood of Sweat brand. As a survivor of domestic violence, she was once physically beaten down and afraid of her own for her own life. Linda has made it her mission to empower other women by helping them take responsibility for their health so that they can be in their best shape physically and emotionally. She's a graduate of the Institute of Integrative Nutrition, and Linda has worked with dozens of thought leaders such as Heidi Powell, JJ Virgin, Natalie Jill, Anne Louise Gittleman, Dr. Will Cole, Lori Schmeck and Elaine Lalane. She has appeared on ABC, NBC, and Fox. And Linda has also written her own column, Fit Over 40, and has spoken on numerous stages, including PodFest and Women's Future Conference. All right, welcome to the show, Linda. Thank you. So uh, thank you so much for having me. And this show started with my best-selling book, uh, Bootstraps and Bra Straps, the for formula to go from rock bottom back into action in any situation. And this last 12 months, we have hit every single situation globally, and it has been really tough on all of us. So I'd like to start off by asking um, each guest, if you have a story maybe you'd like to share with the audience of a time that you overcame a tough situation and how you got back on track. Well, I would just have to say we can start with what was in my bio, but being uh, in a domestic violence situation, you do learn how to survive. Mm -hmm. And not only that, though, uh, if you leave your story behind, you learn how to thrive. And I think that that really just that whole dynamic like it isn't what happens to you in life, but it's what you do about it and what you become through it. And I've become a thriver. I'm not just a survivor. So when the pandemic hit, I understood that mode. Mm -hmm. And I just think, you know, tough times don't last, but tough people do. So I just basically started working and put my nose to the grindstone and threw out everything like the old business model, because I have a gym and we had to close for over three months. So I just threw everything out the window that I had been doing before and said, okay, what can I do right now in this very moment? How can, you know, I, I want to focus on what I could actually control. Mm -hmm. And that is connecting with my customer. And so I actually think through the pandemic, we did workouts on Zoom. Uh -huh. We created better connections. We're more connected than ever. And we didn't do that in person. We did it on camera through the Zoom. Yes, nice. And that's a wonderful thing. It seems that once we've had a tough situation in life and we learn how to overcome the one situation, we can just handle anything that shows up pretty much <laughs> easier it's easier. It doesn't mean that the, the situations don't exist. We can't pretend like they don't exist at all because they affect everything. Yet it's just easier to get back on our feet again. Definitely. And I'm wondering now, do you have your gyms open where you're at um, already? Yes, the gym is open, but we have continued, of course, the social distancing. So I didn't, this has been a weird year. I didn't market the entire year. <laughs> I never marketed because I wanted to keep just the, you know, so that we could socially distance. I literally expanded during the pandemic though. Mm -hmm. So uh, ne next month we'll be opening up twice the space so that I can keep the social distance practice. Mm -hmm. And, but we also uh, still do zoom. I still do live streaming. So I'll continue keeping that model. A lot of people like being able to get on the live stream, do it later, mm -hmm. or do it with me at home. They they love that, or they don't even have to turn their camera on. So they kind of like that. Yes. And I know for me, I'm actually in a studio that's in a gym at a country club and where I live on a lake right now, my, my vacation home is, is at a lake and we don't have working internet 
at the house. So you have to go to the gym <laughs> to, to even if you want to go on the internet. <laughs> so and we still have social distancing. So we do a lot of our classes outdoors when it's warm enough. We have outdoor yoga, tennis, all kinds of things. And the indoor classes are tough for me still because we have to wear masks where we're at. So I do my indoor on the Zoom and they offer the Zoom too. And then I also do my own like Peloton and stuff at home because I can't do the mask thing. But when we're outdoors, we don't have to have the mask and that's okay. So <laughs> so it is, it's a little different. It's it's very different this year. Definitely. You know, it is. And I think what I've told my clients and also on my podcast, we talk a lot in length because people really, they need they need help because it's depressing to be stuck indoors. It's depressing to be isolated from all of your friends and your family. And some places they didn't really get to celebrate Christmas with their families. So, and funerals weren't able to be attended and people couldn't be visited in the hospital. So this is a time where people are really hungry for connection. Mm -hmm. And if you can create that connection, if you're a business owner or just if you want if you don't want to be, you know, one of the people that are depressed, find a way that you can create that deeper connection with your friends, your family, your audience. And I think it really helps too. If, if you can have a routine every day, even if you're not leaving to go into the office, mm -hmm. if you can have a routine, like maybe you'll get the routine you always wanted before, <laughs> get a little, a little bit of coffee, have a little meditation do a little yoga and then tune on to your zoom conference call. Yes. And I think that's the difference. If you haven't been self-employed and now you're working from home and maybe your hours are when you get the work done, it's a little different and you're not used to having to create your own structure at home. It's a challenge. And that goes for even young college students or students at home. Their grades have changed. You could have an all a student in school and now that they have to structure their time they're struggling and so that's definitely to create that schedule as if you're in a classroom or as if you are at a work schedule where you have to kind of be accountable to yourself and maybe have a friend or a few friends or classmates or whoever your, your work co-workers help you to stay on track because that makes a difference I mean, my my work and sleep schedule is upside down and backwards, round and round. I mean, 3 a.m. I was going to bed. <laughs> it was just I had I had no stop time. I love everything that I do. So I would just keep working. I mean, it was just like, why stop? And and all of a sudden it kind of caught up to me and I had to, like, get back into regular sleep routine. So so that that happened. And I don't know if it was a stress I think so because a lot of my customers and myself have noticed after the longer the pandemic has went on, the more tired and off kilter we have become. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And I'd love to hear maybe some points as a fitness professional points for, for those listening in on how to get back on track or stay the course. If you're, um, on a wellness mission <laughs> or lifestyle, how to, how to keep that going during this time of so much change? Well, I think it really helps to be part of a community like mine, the Sisterhood of Sweat, because we are, I have a course that we're all going to dive into. That's an eight week course where we're all going to be uh, on Facebook in the community, as well as I have it online with video and instruction where you're not alone, you're not going through an eating plan alone, but you have support and somebody with knowledge to lead you by the hand. And, and mine is not the only course by any means. There are many courses out there and many communities that you could become a part of. And I think that really does help find something like you did, like Peloton. They've really got it down with the way that they jumped in that online space. And we've jumped in it as well. And I think many other gyms are starting to, to follow the trend. But you can also get some very inexpensive 
pieces of equipment that you could use at home and and do a quick little workout like i was on forbes riley's master class the other day and she is amazing she's like 60 and she had this spin gym but i'm telling you you think like what does that do after you watch for a while you get it everybody she gives this free class at 12 noon and everybody was dripping with sweat just using this little tool that's very inexpensive to get their heart rate up and get some toning and i don't think you have to spend hours upon hours right now in the gym but you do want to maintain some level of health and fitness because i know it's a stressful time and and it's going to go a long way to helping you feel better less depressed more energy more like yourself for sure there's the endorphins that show up when when i do for many people when you do a workout you get that athlete's high the endorphins kick in and you're just like okay i've got energy and i know for me i feel better if i take the time off to do the exercises and the days i don't i feel like i've like i don't know i've i've lied to myself I haven't taken care of myself and I don't have that energy from the workout. So I don't get tired when I work out. I get like energized. Right. It energizes you. And what I found is I can't, I cannot do it too late at night anymore or, or I won't be able to sleep. Mm -hmm. So I try to get it in. Not, not so late. We used to do a 7 30 class which means you're not done till 8 30. so now i'm like oh i can only do the 5 30. <laughs> somebody else has to teach the 7 30. now see when when the pandemic hit and i was up all night i was actually doing a second hour on the bike at 2 a.m so that may have contributed <laughs> <laughs> it wraps you up and <laughs> you probably were like i'm ready for the day now <laughs> i'm like i don't know what to do i'm so stressed i'll go do a bike ride and i would literally do a meditation and they show all the different places you know like different countrysides in europe and the us and different places all over the world and i would do this like i'm riding and i I'd do the class and then there'd be a 15 minute cool down or 20 minute you could do and i'd go through the place and i would do this prayerful meditation over all those people there and i that was my meditation in motion i still do it but now i do it earlier in the day and it really helped me feel like i wasn't trapped inside obviously i take walks outside but uh, i live my my vacation home is in a desert so there were times where there it wasn't it's either too hot or too cold <laughs> <laughs> to really, you know, do a lot out there. And um, yeah, so that really helped my sanity. Oh, for sure. Yeah. One of the, yeah, one of the things I really have to say, uh, I know I always try to find the bright side. They were calling me at the studio, Pollyanna, that flies around with glitter and has a touch of Tinkerbell. So <laughs> <laughs> because I always want to flip things to a positive because you feel better. You feel way better if you can find the positive in every situation. And right now the positive would be find that thing that you've always wanted to do that you've never had time for yeah. and do it. And do it during this pandemic when you're cooped up in the house. Uh, I can tell you, I've done many things since we were, you know, having to be stay you know on lockdown and mm -hmm. unable to go places we really had a pretty stringent lockdown here for a while mm -hmm. and i got certified at the big talk academy uh i joined super connector media and did all sorts of things through them that's why i'm on this this with you today sheila mm -hmm. and i it just did many like things that i had not you know had not done i'm i'm doing this course right now to further what i can offer at my gym and it's really cool i can i'm going to be able to do tissue tissue mineral analysis and blood tests i'll be able to look at them and be able to say oh gosh you're you you're missing this you're missing that like you don't have to guess anymore about what supplements you should take but i'm just saying like find that thing that you've always wanted to do and and do it now while you've got time if you're stuck at home 
Yes, I love that. And you know, I think there was a time in my life where for seven years I traveled full time. And I literally brought my youngest two. I have six children. I adopted three, three of mine. They're all mine, but you know, six. And so I traveled with the youngest two who were high school age and they did college in the summer at Stanford. It was high school, college, and they traveled with me during the school year and did independent study. And we had a blast. And it was one of those things where my friend said, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, you know, you shouldn't travel and they need to be in school. They learned so much. And it was the time of our lives. And I think now oh, I'm so grateful. I took advantage of that time when travel was open and free and mask free. And all that stuff. <laughs> when I didn't know it was just, it was, I was invited to do and called to do and we had a blast and, and they definitely learned a lot. I'm a certified teacher as well. So they didn't not learn. And um, it was interesting because I look at this time the same way as this is a time where we get to be with family, friends. It's a quiet season maybe in our life, but it's a time to take advantage, like you said, of those things we've always wanted to do that we need to be still a little bit for. So that's, and we won't have this time again. My kids, the, the two youngest that are home with me, they're, they're back from college because the dorms are closed, the schools are online only, and I'm loving every second of having them with me and you know and we have fun together and we laugh and we have a different relationship as um a parent to an adult child versus a parent to a child obviously and so that it's kind of like magic moments we would never have if we didn't have this universal pause <laughs> so take advantage of the good it makes all there's good. so much good still if you look for it right yes so much. Yeah. And, you know, I, I did lose my youngest son. He had a heart condition, Wolf Parkinson White syndrome. Um, he, we almost lost him in fifth grade and he passed away December 21st, 2019, right before all this craziness happened. We had a gift of having him extra time. And they just it happens to a small portion of the population. And you never know. He was asleep at grandma's house. I just didn't wake up. And that makes you cherish every single moment with your loved ones, your family, your friends. It makes you realize what really matters. And like right. you know, the good opinion of others, oh, I don't give a flying duck. <laughs> and that's not important. The things that were important maybe before you have a serious and so many people have lost a loved one or have had a situation that's really been tough this last 12 months. And it just changes the focus and the direction, even for our young people on what matters. They care about politics now. My, my young adults, my older children that are now married and this and that, they care about what's happening in our world so much more than just focused on career, which is kind of the way college and career, that's the way it is mm -hmm. they start out. And now they're really involved. Before, I don't think they really voted or they're like, okay, who should I vote for? Okay, whatever. It, it wasn't the same as now. And so <laughs> I think there's so much to it. Now I'd like to get back to maybe some tips. I know you did some competitive, um, what is it when you do competitive? Oh, like I did fitness competitions, bikini <laughs> and figure and Spartan races. Oh, that is, that is so interesting to me. And there's a lot of secrets that go with that. Um, I'd love to hear maybe some healthy secrets that, that people don't know about how that works when you're working on a competition and you're, you know, getting into shape quickly or to keep some of the muscle while you're losing some fat and not like just lose fat and lose muscle too. Love to hear some of those secrets. <laughs> well, well, food is your friend. And when you're doing something like that, you are focused. You write it down every single day in a journal mm -hmm. and you track what you're eating. Now, some people get crazy with the macros. I am more focused on what I'm eating, when I'm eating it, and how I'm combining it. So getting the proper amount of fats, protein, and carbohydrates, depending on where you're at, 
mm-hmm. in, the, in, in your journey for the competition stage. Right. But writing it down, number one, that is a game changer. You're, you're, you write down your goals and then write down and track what you, you know, whatever you measure and track, you know, usually you succeed at. So you're going to track your food. And I just do it in a simple app mm-hmm. online. And I don't tr- count calories at all. I'm vers- I'm virtually just making sure that I'm getting the ample amounts of protein, carbs, fat, and then of course, water, water, your body is 70% water. You want to drink plenty of water because it flushes out the excess water that we carry. If you're 70% water, you really got to think about this. If you're eating a lot of salt, sugar, uh, you know, white flour and toxins and all of that in your diet, you're going to carry a lot more water and the more water you would drink, the more water you flush out. And it could be like a false fat on your body. Mm-hmm. So if you would drink a half a gallon to a gallon per day per hundred pounds of body weight, you would be surprised at how much leaner, thinner your rings are going to be sliding around. You're going to notice that, Oh yeah, I was carrying excess water. Mm-hmm. So that would be a tip. And then equally, whatever it is you're wanting to be able to wear that you're not wearing now, take a picture of yourself in it every Friday and send it to somebody that would horrify you. No, (laughs) (laughs) you know what I'm saying? Like I have a coach for competition, but maybe you should get a coach because a coach helps you fine tune Mm -hmm. and really step into things that maybe you don't know how to do, or you need an accountability, right? Having accountability is huge. Mm -hmm. Yes, that does. It does make all the difference. And the one time in my life that I really got into shape, I actually did hire a fitness trainer and he's actually no longer with us. He passed away, but he, He had a picture. I met him in a Pilates studio and he worked with a lot of celebrities in Hollywood. This was in Hollywood, California and um, famous cheerleaders, all these famous people. And I was like, okay, well, tell me about what you do. You know, and he was an instructor there part time and he'd have the people come in after they closed up and they would let me stay. And so I said, I want to sign up. And he had a picture of himself with a pot belly no muscle ever. You didn't see any muscle on his body. And it said it took one year and he got on the cover of muscle and fitness magazine. And he got on twice in that one year from not having now men, it is a little easier for men (laughs) to gain muscle faster, obviously, but he was such a loving soul because he wasn't in judgment because he had actually walked those steps and knew the journey. Right. And so he walked his talk. Right. And, and it was, he told me, oh my gosh, you're not eating enough. You're eating the wrong foods. Right. Usually you're not eating enough. And that's the problem. The day. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. And I can't lose weight. What is going on? And, and it was like this whole switch of timing. It was extra, yeah. a, lot, a lot of exercise. A lot. And (laughs) every single day where there was a different body part, you'd have to work. And that's right. That's it. I didn't even mention that. Yes. Yes. And then there was the resting and then it was timed the way he did. It was timed protein. Like, and, and it was, everything was measured, everything else, but it was like, you'd have to have something with protein after you work out within 20 minutes in order to maintain the muscle while you're losing the fat or else you'd be like kind of injuring the, you know, like not be as helpful. Well, you definitely have to make sure you're getting the appropriate amounts of protein and, and also fat because it's healing to the joints and carbohydrates are necessary, but you do not get to eat cake. I'll say that. (laughs) Yes. And you know, it's funny when I do eat cake, it never works out. (laughs) (laughs) The wild thing. So there I was 800 calories a day. And he says, 
in the next three to four weeks, we're going to get your metabolism up by eating this and doing these exercises in this fashion. And you're going to get up to 1600 calories a day. And I said, oh my gosh, I'm going to gain so much weight. Well, I was starving by like week two and week three, and I was losing weight. And it got to the point where I didn't have to think about it. I just followed this plan. Right. It's it really, that's it right there. It's the lifestyle. And, and when I followed it, it worked. And now I'm actually back on it now. So yay. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I found the old book and all the old things that he said, and I'll probably join your program so, so I can stay accountable with a good fresh group. And, you know, it's interesting though, because I didn't believe it was possible. And I think that's the important part that no matter where you're at in this journey of wellness, it's not about even looks as much as feeling and for yourself and that it is actually possible there. It's like almost impossible if you really follow it to, to have, to not have success. I couldn't believe it. I was totally shocked, but it was work. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you, you know, I think that it's really important. The, what you're just hitting on is belief, mm -hmm. belief, in yourself that you you can accomplish it because if you don't believe it you won't put forth the effort that it requires to get there and so i think belief is important but one of the ways to start believing in yourself is to stop over promising and under delivering so if you want to do something make smaller promises to yourself that you can actually keep mm -hmm. so that you can build a, a, a relationship of trust with yourself because the reason why you might not be believing in yourself is you're telling yourself you're going to do X, Y, Z, and you and you're you're setting the bar so stringent to start that you can't quite make it over. So start <laughs> start smaller. Yes. Start with a promise you can keep, and then start building upon that, and that's going to build trust and belief. You know, and if you have, I think it's really important to get a health checkup check in with your doctor before you start anything or make adjustments. I mean, obviously if you're going to like right. sugar and eat like vegetables, I'm sure you're okay. But, <laughs> but you know, for the most part, it's good to check in. Um, if you have health conditions that may make it more difficult, like you said, fit over 40, there's a certain point in us ladies' lives where things slow down. Even if they're fast, they slow down. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You're, you're preaching to the choir. I had some injuries that uh, I really had to, to pay attention. I tried to live in denial, but that didn't work out too well for me. And so you, you learn that you can still move forward. You just have to move forward in a different way. Mm -hmm. So, you know, walk on the incline, burn a lot of calories that way. You're going to lessen the impact or whatever it is you need to do. You, there's always a way to modify in your situation. And if it's rest you need, make sure you take it. Yes. And there's, I mean, there's this hormonal thing that happens at a certain age where things just metabolism slows down. <laughs> and it's, it's like you've got to do more to stay at the same place or keep up. Actually, you have to do less. That's the myth. Really? You, I'd love to hear. It. Let's hear. We, it about this. Okay. It's important. So like I'm 58. So what I found was I was doing because of the competition lifestyle, mm -hmm. I was doing way too much. And so my body really let me know. First of all, it let me know with injuries. Okay, yeah. And, and, and I'm not saying your typical working out stuff. I'm saying I was jumping through the air and flying into the splits and crazy stuff like that. My body, let me know it wasn't having it <laughs> on top of everything else, a heavy workout load. Like I was doing way too much. So, but what I learned just as a normal participant and with all of my participants, once you hit a certain age and you get into menopause, you're not making estrogen as you know, and you may not be making any, but you're definitely decreasing it. And so you could not only have bone loss, but you can tear muscles much easier. Mm. So that would be one clue. Make sure you're not overdoing it. But equally, with the thing with the estrogen, 
is that used to absorb all your stress. Now you don't have that. So you're spiking cortisol because you're lacking estrogen. Mm. So the biggest weight loss tool I can give you is meditate, sleep more, make sure you're getting at least eight hours of sleep. You you walk away from arguments because what happens if you're getting stressed or you're getting fright or you know the fight or flight response is you're spiking cortisol and cortisol is what makes you like it can cause you to hold on to belly fat it can cause you to gain weight uh, and also like the injury that I had it could cause that because it starts cannibalizing the muscle so the biggest thing that I find with women is if they can maintain a healthy fitness level and and you could walk on an incline you don't have to run you actually burn more calories walking on a pretty high incline versus running you can find ways to work out that your body isn't getting in that fight or flight response because you're a lot it's a lot easier to get into it when you're lacking that estrogen now how does that cortisol work for men men still have that same cortisol belly fat situation they get the same thing because they start losing testosterone uh, um and for them they i mean depends like they probably have a lot of stress at that time at that age you know it's just it's he they need to de-stress as well and mm -hmm. make sure you know go to a doctor and have them test your levels female or male to see what your levels are and see how high is your cortisol because if your cortisol is through the roof um, that number one would be why you're gaining weight and why you're unable to lose it yes that can keep you stuck wow that would be terrible and that could definitely i could see that this year or this last 12 months here can totally do that to just about anybody <laughs> that when they say, oh, COVID-20, well, <laughs> I think that has a lot to do with that, more than even sitting on the couch, uh, because people still exercised and they may have had less success with with the um, cortisol spiking up. I'm not sure. Well, I think what you find and in, in what it's you, you would start working out more, right? Because you think, oh, gosh, yeah, um, it's harder now. I need to work out harder. I need to eat less. Yeah. No, it's the stress. It's the stress. Mm -hmm. So if you recognize that, because if you've already tried the other and it didn't work for you, you know, it's like doing the same thing over and over is insanity, right? You're not going to get different results. So you have to let go of the notion that you have to work harder and realize, oh, my body, it's just it needs less stress. So if, if my cortisol is high, I like I run, I'm a runner. I had to say, okay, I will still run. I won't run as long. Mm -hmm. I won't run as many times per week. And I'm telling you when I would run too much, my belly would blow up. Mm. And when I stopped like overdoing, it, it starts just flattening out. So I really think it's, it really is a huge thing. If women really start paying attention to their stress and try to relieve it. That's the secret. Right. Wow. That's pretty good. And what about the day of rest or resting different muscles? How, how do you incorporate that into workouts and life? I know a lot of men and women that over, like they'll try to overcompensate and all of a sudden they're like, oh shoot, I'm gonna do so many arm exercises every <laughs> day because <laughs> I messed up and got off the off track. Oh, right, 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 I hear you. <laughs> so oh, you, that seems like a twofold question, but I'll try to answer the first one first. Um, you, you really, well, first of all, you can't out-train a bad diet, so make sure you get a hold of your nutrition because that's 75 to 85% of your results. And if you are in menopause or having hormone issues, that would be the first place I would start. Then as far as working out, you at least should have one to two rest days a week. So where you're, you know, you could do an active rest if you're crazy, you know, like you feel like, oh, yeah. you could go walk, you know, you could play some tennis with a friend. You, you don't, it doesn't have to be a focused workout but you should be giving your body rest because if otherwise you're co continually breaking it down and the body needs rest so that it can perform at optimal levels mm -hmm. so that you can get muscle so you can be lean you have to give your body rest 
Right. Yes. And that even goes for your brain. Like neuroplasticity, I interviewed someone about this whole brain training and neuroplasticity. And we actually learn not in the classroom, not while we're studying really hard for a test. It's when we sleep and our it's the recovery time is when the actual neurons connect. And actually, <laughs> and like, and actually your learning actually connects and work. Bless you. You're blessed. <laughs> 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 I came here just for the blessing. <laughs> but, it, but that's so interesting that even our learning. So if you have children at home or young adults at home, they need an exercise, you know, just like school gives them playtime, recess time. They need to have that break at home. Don't forget. And uh, I've worked with parents over this last year that they're like, I don't know, my kids are always fighting, da, da, da. And we talked about it and what they forgot was to play. They did right, it. Right, they right. play, it was serious. It's like you know, <laughs> their business, kids have got to study, they've got to eat, they've got to clean up. And they had, they stopped playing all together with all the stress going on. And I was like, that's all you need. Just play and the fighting will disappear. And 99.9% .9 of the time, that's that's it. The fighting disappeared. The grays went up because they need that, that time to exhale. Oh, my gosh. Totally. And I want to add to that. I, I want to say if you're in a relationship, because I think during COVID, mm -hmm. it could go one of two ways. It could get better or it could get worse. And I don't know if there's any in between right now, but I would just say if you could find some ways to have fun with your mate, like, did you forget because you were so busy working and taking care of the kids and having a job and, you know, trying to survive to play? Mm -hmm. Because I want to just say my husband and I have been playing more yeah. and laughing tons and that didn't start at the beginning, but now I can see why that's so beneficial. Like at night now, when we're going to bed, we're, we're, we have like private jokes. We're cracking up or cracking each other up. We're laughing hysterically and it, it's fun. See, then you, 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 you like, Oh gosh, I want to spend more time doing that with my partner and less time fighting. Yes, that is. I think that's beautiful. And it's so true. We're coming into Valentine's Day before you know it here. And, and it's so important uh, for relationships, especially now, it, it, whatever relationship or even friendships, whatever is going on in your life where you have fun and it's make it light and fun because things are kind of serious. And so we need that, especially uh, around families because the kids they're gonna feel it just if they hear mom and dad laughing they're like okay it's good we're gonna have fun too we can relax it's, it's not you know not so much tension they're not gonna have so much cortisol <laughs> and it's gonna make a big difference <laughs> So good. I love. I mean, it. it had it's something the other night had me laughing so hard when I tried to tell my girls at the studio about it. I couldn't even finish. I'd start laughing, then they started laughing. So laughter is very contagious. Yes, yes. And so now um, we're coming to the end of our talking time, and I'd love to maybe get a, a picture of how to sign up for your program, what the program looks like, so that those listening in, if they want to. Um, join the program and get fit, how that could work. Okay. Uh, they can go to sisterhoodofsweat.com and look for the sweat project. And it is an eight week course. They can sign up there and then they'll automatically get added to the community. And the plan is laid out in the book and online in the course where you'll be able to get your grocery list in advance and you'll be able to see what you're doing, when you're doing it, why you're doing it and mm -hmm. how to do it. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. That sounds perfect. So it's, it's done for you. That is in incredible. So that's great. All right. Well, thank you again for being a guest on the show, Linda. Well, thank you so much for having me. And I hope that everybody benefits from some of our tips today. <laughs> All right. Take care. And if you're listening in, stay tuned. We'll be back after these messages. If you are just tuning in, this is the Sheila Mack Show. 
and I am your host Sheila Mack here on NBC's KCAA radio the station that leaves no listener behind today I'd like to thank the sponsor of this show UniDragon UniDragon offers various types of wooden jigsaw puzzles that you can play with and learn with during your leisure time their wooden unique puzzles are made out of the highest quality woods and come to you with a beautiful artwork design. Use the gift of time and peaceful play with Unidragon wooden puzzles to improve your memory, problem solving skills, visual spatial ability, mood, and to lower your stress levels. With Unidragon wooden jigsaw puzzles at any age, they have been shown to help promote eye and hand coordination and increase your creativity so next time you are stuck or working on a project and need a mind break take a uni dragon break and work on a puzzle uni dragon is one of the best puzzle games on the market helping bring play and happiness back to the world one puzzle piece at a time If you are just tuning in, this is the Sheila Mack Show, and I am your host, Sheila Mack. I'd like to give a special shout out and thanks to one of the show's sponsors today, which is Unidragon, Unidragon Wooden Jigsaw Puzzles. Unidragon offers various types of wooden jigsaw puzzles that you can play with and learn with during your leisure time. Their wooden, unique puzzles are made out of the highest quality woods and come to you with a beautiful artwork design. Use the gift of time and peaceful play with Unidragon wooden puzzles to improve your memory, problem solving skills, visual spatial ability, mood, and to lower your stress level. With Unidragon wooden jigsaw puzzles, at any age, they have been shown to help promote eye hand coordination and increase creativity. So, next time you are stuck on a project, take out a Uni Dragon wooden jigsaw puzzle. Uni Dragon is one of the best puzzle games on the market, helping bring play and happiness back to the world one puzzle piece at a time. If you are just tuning in, this is the Sheila Mack Show, and I am your host, Sheila Mack. This show is brought to you today in part by Unidragon. Unidragon offers various types of wooden jigsaw puzzles that you can play with and learn with during your leisure time. Their wooden unique puzzles are made out of the highest quality woods and come to you with a beautiful variety of artwork designs. Use the gift of time and peaceful play with Uni Dragon wooden puzzles to improve your memory, problem solving skills, visual spatial ability, mood, and to lower your stress levels. With Uni Dragon wooden jigsaw puzzles at any age, they have been shown to help with neuroplasticity while promoting eye and hand coordination and increasing creativity. So the next time you are stuck, Trying to figure out something puzzling in your business or personal life? Take a puzzle break. Yuna Dragon's one of the best puzzle games on the market, helping people bring play and happiness back to the world one puzzle piece at a time. Order your Uni Dragon wooden jigsaw puzzles today at www.unidragon.com. If you are just tuning in, this is the Sheila Mack Show on NBC's KCAA Radio, the station that leaves no listener behind. And today, I'd like to share with you a chapter in my new best-selling book, Bootstraps and Bra Straps, The Formula to Go from Rock Bottom Back into Action in Any Situation. So take a listen. Chapter 11 Lifestyle Design This chapter is going to look a little different than the other chapters. Instead of starting out with a rock-bottom moment and ending with that person's moment of empowerment, we are going to compare the lives of two women. The Life of Anne Anne was very athletic growing up. 
As a young adult, she was active and healthy and loved to exercise. She helped rescue animals, volunteering at the local shelter to share her love with those animals. Then she got married and had kids. Anne gave up a lot of her passions and the things that made her happy in order to please everybody else. Her husband is allergic to animal dander, so she couldn't have pets at home, and she gradually stopped going to the shelter, too. She didn't stay as active as she'd been when she was single. She said yes to all her friends, doing anything they asked her to. She cared for a lot of people, but she didn't set boundaries. Anne's days were long and busy, full, but not fulfilling. Anne had a vision of how she wanted her life to look, but she woke up one day and realized that she was living a very different life. Eventually, Anne's health failed. She developed many health issues because she had stopped eating healthy foods, exercising, and taking time to rest her mind. She spent a lot of money on health care instead of spending time staying healthy. When she really needed people to help her, she didn't know how to ask. Some of her friends had more boundaries than Anne, so they said no to her requests, even though in the past she had helped them move or with accounting or babysitting. People weren't willing to give as much as she had, so she was at a loss. And with some of the people in her life who did want to reciprocate, Anne wasn't able to be vulnerable or gracious enough to receive. Anne is at the point of retiring from a job she doesn't love, and she's physically and financially unable to keep up with her friends and family. She sees her friends doing work they're passionate about and talented at, and it affects her self-worth when she compares her life to theirs. She feels stuck upset and resentful, and she's angry with herself for letting life slip by. Anne thought she was doing the right things. She was a good student, a good daughter and sibling, the one who didn't need so much attention. She was taught to put everybody else first, and she's done an amazing job of teaching everybody else to treat her like a doormat. She never filled up her own self, and now she has a very painful void in her life. The Life of Barbara Barbara has designed her life and lives it by her design. She has still done things for other people, but she follows her own definition of happiness and success. Interesting things happened in her childhood, but at some point, she decided that she was going to live life on her terms. Barbara made a lot of mistakes. She tried to live her passion three or four different times in different ways. It didn't work out at first, but she was determined. At first, she wasn't even sure what that looked like, but she knew it would involve art, dance, and educating children— as it unfolded, she started teaching children to read and created a story time program. Looking back, she laughs about her ups and downs. The determination to live her life and work around her passion and her gifts was considered non traditional, so she experienced some bumps that made her strong and resilient. Barbara kept solid rituals, routines, and boundaries in place. She eats healthy foods and takes care of herself so she can help other people, too. She made her self-care a priority, knowing that she was modeling that for her children. Barbara and Anne are the same age, but Barbara looks much younger because she's healthier and happier. She wakes up in the morning and is excited to go to work. When Barbara looks back at her life so far, she's at peace. She knows she's done her highest good. No part of her feels that she wasted time on things that didn't align with her values. She lives exactly the life she was supposed to, the life she chooses. And she's excited for whatever comes next. You only get one. Anne has lived her whole life based on what other people wanted, whereas Barbara has lived life for herself and it's still full of love and other people. Which life would you choose? Maybe you choose a little of each. 
These are extreme examples. So maybe you choose neither. The point is that it's your life and you get to choose what it looks like. Anne didn't choose to design her own life, but it's not too late. It's not over for her. It doesn't matter what your age is. Until you're not here anymore, you can still make a change. The rest of your life can become the best part of your life. All the decisions you make have an impact on your future, on your whole life. They build upon each other. If you don't decide how you're going to live your life, somebody else is going to decide for you, and most people are happy to do that. They're happy to sell you the wrong house so they can make a commission. They're happy to put you in a job you don't like for less pay so you do all the work. But if you're not happy, it's not a blessing. I'm not a Christian scientist, but Mary Baker Eddy, the founder of Christian Science Movement, said, whatever blesses one, blesses all. If you're not happy, or if you're not living your essence, your truth, your life, it's hard for you to send happiness to other people in your life. But when you are happy and using your talents and gifts, there's no competition. There's no ego. You're just connected to everything and everybody in love, and it's beautiful. Everyone has that beauty in them, in the way they're here and who they are. We're all amazing, talented, beautiful, incredible people in our own right. When we try to shift and fit into a mold of who we believe we're supposed to be, the adult who never plays, who goes to work and takes on debt to buy a house, it kills our souls. Every day we lose sight of who we really are. How can you be happy when the most important parts of you are hidden or quieted because you followed somebody else's rules? How many people have felt like they had to go to school to become a doctor or a lawyer just because their parents wanted them to? And they're miserable. If they were living their truth, they would be happy. And that's worth even more than money. I also would like to share with you something that some other things that I also offer. I do have Mastermind Live Weekly Courses, and those are available at SheilaMack.com, S-H-E-I-L-A-M-A-C.com. I have to let you know something, just between you and me. This book is not one size fits all, just like a pair of boots or a bra. So, the formula is designed to help you through any situation. I'd love for you to grab a copy of my new best-selling book, Bootstraps and Bra Straps, the formula to go from rock bottom back into action in any situation. It is now available on Audible as well as on Amazon and Kindle and at www.sheilamack.com.